Hi, it's Nick Drew from Earth Movies Digman Blog. Well, it's day one of the Connected Tour, where we're off to visit some customers and uh, fit some of these PL542s to machines. Let's see how we go. Well, we're here now at Plant Force in Western Supermare on our first stop of the Get Connected Tour. Um, I'm just going to go and pop out to the yard now and fit this PL542. <laughs> Well, here we are in uh, Plant Force's yard, and uh, I'm joined here by Sam, who's the operations manager at Plant Force. You can tell us a bit about uh, the Plant Force operation and uh, why you're into connectivity. Connectivity is becoming more and more important for us. Um, we currently run a fleet of 850 items, um, looking to expand that into 1,000 items over the next year. It's becoming more important to be able to track, see the utilisation of machines. It's also used for reporting for customers and also on resale of our, for ourselves. Tell me Sam, you recently purchased a, a, a couple of cat dozers, is that right? Yes, we pu purchased two D6Ts, one with a straight blade and one with a VPAT. Yep. Um, and, and that's how we were introduced to the new, to the new system. So Sam, um, tell us a bit about this unit that you've selected for us to uh, come and fit the PL542 on today. So today we're going to be fitting it to a Aman ASC 110 roller, uh, which is a 12 ton self-propelled roller, uh, which currently has, uh, doesn't come with any telematics or, or tracking ability. Apparently this unit is really easy to fit, so uh, I'm going to have a go today. <laughs> Well, apparently they're easy to fit, but the one thing I need to know is where the port is. So I'm going to call on uh, my friend from Finning, Javier, who's going to give me some assistance. Hi Nick, this one is an easy one, it's a 9-pin connector, and we need to find the service port in the asset. Service connector in the dash, the product link, that's it. Yeah, that's great. That's the first one done. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, fortunately, I've um, already downloaded the app onto my uh, iPhone. And so now all I've got to do is scan the QR code and that feeds in all the information that's needed and we're good to go. Well, that's the first PL542 fitted of the connected tour. All it needs now is uh, Javier to tidy up the cables in there and uh, I'm going to leave him in charge of that and I'm off for a cup of tea. <laughs> So here we are at stop two of the Connected Tour. Um, I'm here at Smith's in Gloucester and I'm with Shane. Shane, tell us a bit about your fleet of machinery here. Okay, so we've got a massive fleet of excavators, dumpers, teleanders and anything you need in the plant world, including about 140 cat machines. Right. Currently got about 58 machines already fitted with the uh, Vision Link system. So you're here today to uh, fit this to the Cat 308 in front Brilliant. of us. Let's get it going. Well now that's all uh, plugged in, yep. now all we need to do is get you to uh, get it going on the phone. Yeah, so just scan scanning that the QR, QR code. code there. Yeah, that's great. So there we go, that's all fitted in. Yep. Uh, you've scanned it in, so uh, let's go and take a look at your Vision Link. Yep. So you've got Vision Link loaded up, uh, just, just tell us a bit about the system and how it works for you. Yep, so as you can see on here we've got 58 units set up currently on there. Uh, you're here today setting up 59th unit, which will be the first of the rest of our fleet. We can have a look at the map and where all our machines are located. Yep. Go into each machine, check their fuel levels, fuel uses, utilisation, fault codes, engine issues, etc. But also out of hours alerts. Right. Um, so we can cordon off certain areas, say our farm or our yard um, for 24 hour usage. Right. But as soon as they leave those zones, there'll be, um, there'll be email alerts come through warning us of that so oh, right. uh, great um, great for security yeah brilliant so you've got the health monitoring side of things uh, can you tell us a bit how that works please so you can see on here we've got all of our fault codes set up so all the machines that are monitored a guy from finning richard cooper he'll send through all of our alerts anything that's wrong with them um, so we can take that down appropriate course of action uh, send it out to our workshop and uh, get it sorted great stuff yeah, so yeah nice. brilliant <laughs> Right, 
Right, here we are on the last port of call today for the Connected Tour. Uh, we're with O'Brien Contractors here in Warwickshire, and I'm joined by Gareth, who's the engineer and surveyor, who's going to tell us all about uh, the company and yep. the connectivity. Yep. Uh, so my name's Gareth Price, I'm engineer and surveyor for O'Brien Contractors. We're a groundwork contractor in the Midlands region. We already, in part of my role within the company, is to manage and run the machine control fleet. So we already have a very good understanding of the telematic side of things. Because of the Trimble vision link and sight link, we've seen the benefit in the telematic systems already because we completely understand how great the flow of information through cyberspace to the machines and back to site is and the two-way transfer of information. Obviously we've already got the CAT telematic system fitted on probably eight or nine items of plants already. The information it gives you is brilliant. We can check service levels, we can check hours, we can check fuel levels, we can check diesel burn, all sorts of stuff comes in through the telematic system which for anyone who has even a small plant fleet I think it's a well worthwhile system to have because it takes the whole well, it takes the whole fleet management headache away from actually managing a fleet. We're probably going to think of investing in it a little bit more heavily because it's one of the best on the market at the moment. Um, and thanks to Finn and Caterpillar, we're going to try and fit the system onto a, a JCB, which is a little bit out of the box and a little bit out of the ordinary. And then hopefully we'll get good information back from that and we can introduce it to the rest of the fleet. Thanks, Gareth. No well, Javier showed me how to do the first one and I showed Shane at uh, Smith's how to do the next one. For this one, I'm going to give, give it to Gareth to do. And now we'll see how plug and play friendly it really is. I'm off for another cup of tea. <laughs>